Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and I have got a big old box of empties over here. But before we get started with that, I want to go ahead and tell you about this join special that Scentsy is doing. They're running back a join special again. Now this is not the cheapy join special that we all know and love. They already did that one. So this one is for people that are obsessed with air purification. We know there are a lot of you guys out there. This is a join special that um, includes the Scentsy Air Purifier into the join special. So I'm gonna go ahead, read to you, give you the deets. This starts for the month of May. I'm a few days late, sorry. Um, I should have told you guys in the last video I did, but it was a lengthy video. I was trying not to make the video too long. I know this empties video will not be that long, so I thought it would be a great time to go ahead and include the join special information. So this started on May 1st. It goes through the end of the month and it will cost $299. Now remember, that includes the cost of the air purifier and we know the air purifier is not the cheapest thing on the menu, but if you are into air purification and you know Scentsy has a very unique one, this is a way for you to join and get that air purification system at the same time. So, they are doing this because May is National Clean Air Month. And it says, we are offering a Scentsy Air Purifier starter kit in May to help bring awareness to this amazing product and all the ways it can benefit in your homes. In addition to the air purifier, this kit includes Scentsy Pods, so you're getting free pods, and an assortment of other products and business tools to help new consultants start their business. But the promotion is only good this month for the month of May. So act fast. So it says owning and using a Scentsy Air Purifier will give you as a new consultant an added advantage when promoting this premium product because you have it. So you can really give people the, the bare bones information and the day-to-day -day information on this product that other consultants that don't have it yet can. Um, also, it says air purifiers in general continue to lead surveys about the most important home device and Incensies is the only one that features a, sig a signature Scentsy fragrance. And it says with the air purifiers being so popular, this is an outstanding opportunity for new consultants to get a boost when starting their Scentsy business because you've got the Cadillac of products in your arsenal. So if you're somebody that has been, kind of had your eyeball on this air purifier, once again, you're not the sis boom ba ra ra person that's going to be running around, you know, shouting to the rooftops, come buy this, oh, I sell this, let me, you know, run down somebody in the grocery store in aisle three because they look like they were sniffing some candles and I'm just going to knock them down like a linebacker and then rip those candles out of their hand and, and let them know I'm a Scentsy consultant. If you're not that person, but you are somebody that has wanted an air purifier, or like I said, had your eyeball on ours, then this is an excellent opportunity for you to join. Get that air purifier, get you some free pods and the other goodies that come along in the kit and buy from yourself and keep it pushing. So yeah, um, that's is it so i did download oh and i want to mention you will as a new consultant get three months of your website for free so just wanted to put that out there because that was also in the little fact sheet so this time your girl was prepared and i did download the picture of the kit so let me find it for you where i know i downloaded this thing now i don't see it okay guys thought i downloaded it it didn't download but this is the kit so this is everything that will be in your starter kit so you see the air purifier is front and center then you have two 
packs of pods to go with your air purifier that are right next to it. You have a fragrance flower, you have catalogs, you have your um, testers in this black bag over here. You've got some, looks like counter clean, I want to say. No, Scentsy Fresh. Uh, behind there, you've got little samples. You've got pet samples back there. You've got all kinds of laundry samples. You get a tote. You've got um, a scent circle. So you're getting way more than just the purifier and the pods, which would be great because if you're doing this just to get in for that purpose, that would be great, but you're still getting all the other stuff. You're getting your business supplies. Um, you're getting the little scented stickers that we use to make your mail smell incredible. So you're getting a lot of stuff along with that purifier. So just wanted to point that out and let you guys see that because I would be a horrible consultant if I did not let you guys know about this kit. This is just another picture of the same kit, just a different background. So, yeah. So, if you are interested in that, comment below. Let me know. Hit me up on all the social media. As you guys know, I am a text, a um, phone call, email away. You know, just hit me up and let me know. So, now let's see what's in this box. So we've got a good box of empties today. The first thing I'm going to point out is your girl finished a brick. Finishing bricks are really super hard for me. And each year I keep saying that I'm not going to, you know how the bricks come out and we buy pretty much all the bricks because you want to be able to let people know what everything smells like. I personally need to stop doing that. I need to just get the bricks that I'm going to get and then just get, um, once they offer that brick in a bar, no, I'm not going to have it ahead of time, but at least I'll still be able to let you know what it smells like. I need to do that because it's too hard for me if I have a brick that I'm not a fan of to get through that brick. So, yeah. So, I end up like giving it away or whatever. But we finished up cinnamon, vanilla cinnamon maple. Finished that one up this week. I love this one. I really, really enjoyed it. It was just a great. Mm, great bakery scent. Loved it so much. So we finished that. Um, I finished, well, my husband finished Vanilla Bourbon. This was from the Father's Day collection. And then they brought it back. I think it was in a flash sale. Um, notes are obviously vanilla and bourbon. Um, vanilla, bourbon, and nutmeg are the notes really really enjoyed that. I think I might have one more left. Um, what else we got in here? Finished up a room spray in red pear and pomegranate. Love that. And the last non-wax item is washer whiffs and that is in the scent um, magnolia linen. Is it magnolia linen? Magnolia linen. Sorry. I am not blind, guys, but look how hard that is to see the white on the pink. So, finish that up. I I enjoyed this one. It was a great, great laundry scent. Really enjoyed that. So, now I think, oh, one more non-wax item. A room spray in Plumeria Peach. Enjoyed this as well. I'm not the biggest peach fan, but I enjoyed this. Next, we have, this is one I finished up today. This is warming in the living room. <laughs> I'm like trying to picture the room and saying the wrong thing. The um, living room, my son is home from college. Um, for you guys, just in case you care, you probably don't, but I'm going to tell you anyway. He decided to, he's going to transfer to a college, which is closer to home where he can just commute back and forth from the house. Praise Lord and hallelujah, because that's going to save on our pockets of not doing that room and board thing. So he is home for good for quite a while. Yay. I'm a happy camper. So I have this going in the room that he hangs out in um, the most. So 
that is going. I've told you guys this is a great scent. Smells like aftershave. Um, scent of the month, Peak Lemon Water. This kind of reminds me of a weaker version of pink, what is it? Pink Sugarberry Mint. Not that it smells like it, but it's kind of along those same lines. It's kind of sweet, kind of sugary and, well, sugary is sweet, duh. Um, kind of sweet, kind of perfumey. It just kind of gives me those vibes. I enjoyed it. Like I said, it's not as loud as Pink Sugarberry meant to me. Um, but I did enjoy it. So I've got one, two of those. It might be another one in here also. Next is Pink Haze. Bring back my bar. You guys know this will never go out of the club. It's like this creamy um floral sweet scent powdery everything next is a very sweaty grody looking bar of um sun ripened berry and like this is not an old bar i don't know i guess because the temperature if you guys know anybody that's been Living in the South lately, we've gone from like 80 some degrees to like 60 something to 50 something to almost 90. And it's just been jumping around all over the place. So we're on a string of hot weather right now. So I'm guessing that's why a lot of things I'm pulling out are coming out really sweaty and kind of icky. But um, it's a fruity bar. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ugh. I think I just finished this one either today or yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I need to go clean my hands off. Um, sea salt and avocado. So I warmed this yesterday in the family room where we we're sitting at. I enjoyed it. Not overly loud to me. Um, I didn't wake up thinking, oh my God, the room smells amazing. I'm a little disappointed. You guys know the family room is the largest room in our house, so I'm not sure if it was because it's such a big space that I couldn't smell it on day two. Comment below, guys, and let me know if this is a day two for you guys or no. Smell great on day one, though. Um, next, we have Daydream Oasis. This is a nice kind of airy, um, mm, kind of airy, slightly perfumey scent enjoy that one i don't remember smelling this on day two either but i can't remember next is lush gardenia you have to be a gardenia lover to like this one if you don't you're not gonna like it mm, i love the smell of gardenia just I, i've told you guys over and over i've um sampled chanel no chanel number five chanel has a fragrance called gardenia and it just it smells just like this so if you guys ever want to know whole sidebar if you ever want to know what chanel's gardenia smells like it smells just like this so i love this i'm sorry we're just linking perfume and and wax together um here's the third pink lemon water clearly you know i was making samples um, Hendrix, this is in my club and it's just a good manly, um, fragrance, smells like cologne. It also smells a little smoky, really, really good. Enjoyed this one a lot. Great performer. Thunderstorm, I do believe I have taken this out of my club. I've had it for a while, um. This is super strong to me. I've told you guys before, I get rose, like a heavy, heavy rose scent out of this. That's like the first thing I get. This is supposed to smell like the whole, um, how, I want to say the earth, um, how the outdoors smells when the storm is coming. If you guys live in the South, you know what I'm talking about, um, there's a smell that you can smell the the wetness in the air and, and all that. It really does smell good. I do get that, but to, to my nose, it comes off really heavily rose scented. 
and this is a one cube will like light the house up type of situation i'm just kind of over it i'm sure this will come back again and once it does maybe i'll go ahead and put it in the club then i think i might still have either a bar or two bars of this left but yeah toasted marshmallow this is another one it is super duper strong this is a one cube or do your situation it smells like the bath and body works candle super duper strong i have mixed this also i mixed it with something this time i'm gonna leave this set this aside so i can remember what i mixed this with i was trying to do like a bakery situation uh, super strong outstanding mixer fourth pink lemon water i was like really plowing through this i don't know why i think i don't know i do like it so i guess that's why sugar it's my favorite just sweet sugary girly perfumey oh smells like barbie dreams it is what it is Next is Whipped Vanilla Lavender. This is from the Mother's Day collection. Uh, I'm still just kind of like, eh, you know, I want it to be louder. It's, it's a nice scent. It's just not that loud for me. And with my Scentsy Club looking the way it does, if it doesn't smack the wig off my head, then I'm just like, I can't. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy the scent. I just need it to be louder, so yeah. Um, Experiment 626. This is Stitch. Everybody loves this so much. I'm just kind of over it, and I know y'all want to, like, hang me and, you know, put light me on fire at the stake for this, but it's a great scent. It's, uh, what am I trying to say? You guys know I'm not really the tropical person like that. This kind of gives me, uh, what is that bar that everybody loves? It's like melon and cantaloupe and, oh God, what is it? It's not Camu Camu. Skinny Dippin'. Everybody loves skinny dipping. This is kind of like skinny dipping to me, where it's that really tropical, heavy, floral, fruity, or heavy, fruity melons and, and all this stuff. And for me, I'm just, I think it's too much melon for me, or, or too much of a mix of tropical fruits when it's too many fruits and I'm just kind of over it. So this was in my club along with Angel. I took this one out. I think Angel is still in there. I'm going to have to look. But I took it out. I probably regret doing it. But right now it's out. Um, we'll see it again. We will. Next is Midnight Fig. Midnight Fig is a love or hate fragrance. It is really strong. Once again, this is another one cube. Will do you fragrance. It is super duper strong. I'm not the biggest fan of this. Uh, people have said this smells like, I want to say a Bath and Body Works fig. Is it mid uh, not, this is midnight fig dog. Brown sugar and fig, I think it is. Um I haven't smelled brown sugar and, and fig after work video people. Can't even talk. I have not smelled brown sugar and fig in forever. So um it's really really strong. I'm just you know it's I don't know. I'm over it. I know a lot of people, you either love it or you hate it. I'm just middle of the road with it. I like it, and then once I'm done, I'm good. You know, maybe I'll pick this up if it comes back, like one bar of it, but yeah, I'm over it. Azul Chase Rainbows. Um, I told you guys, this is a great fresh bar it's loud you know day two i was still smelling it really really enjoyed it um coconut cream 
I don't even know. Oh, coconut cream. I told you it was an after work video. Coconut cotton. I do not even know where this came from. Um, it's a, well, duh, it's a bring back my bar. Um, clearly I've had this for a while. It smells like coconut. It's like a coconut, almost like a coconut laundry scent. It's okay. You know, it's one of those, either you love it or no. Nah. So, um, it's okay. Next is my dear Watson. This is another um, cologne after shavy, mm, great smelling man scent. Love, love this so much. Next is Dumbo. I had this in my club. I want to say I took it out. I'll, you guys know I, I usually come to you guys one, once I'm, you know, redoing the club before it processes. So I'll come back. I think I took this out. This one is always on the fence for me. It always comes back and then it goes away and it comes back. And, you know, so it's always I'm throwing it in my club. I'm taking it out. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful scent, though. I love this so, so much. It's like... um. Oh, what is it? It's like a citrus and then a, a creamy, it's a creamy citrus scent. Really, really like this a lot. Next is Sparkling Magnolia. This was from the Mother's Day collection. And this one I told you was stronger to me than the, and now that I'm smelling this, I'm like, I need to get another bar of this. It was stronger than the um, whipped vanilla lavender. I like this. I might have to get another one of these before it disappears. Next, I have Cozy Carnigan. This is just a beautiful body care scent. It is strong. Um, it smells so, so good. Just like a... Well, we've had this in body care. We've had it in, like, everything because it's that good. It's just a beautiful, like, um, let me look up the notes for this one for you guys. Because it's one of those, it's kind of hard to um, describe the scent. And I don't want to just start rambling off notes and then it's not that at all and then you guys are looking at me like you're such a doofus um cozy let's just type in the word cozy okay cozy cardigan and you see it comes in like all the things because it's just that great look at that look how many things it comes in right um cozy cardigan is it says layers of soft suede blushing rose and amber silk it is amazing next another whipped vanilla lavender you guys already know how i feel about that and last but not least we have happy birthday uh, once again, Happy Birthday is a beautiful cake scent, and it smells like chocolate cake, marble cake, funfetti cake, whatever cake that you like, that's what it smells like. It just smells wonderful. Excellent performer. Um, this one will kind of blow you out the house as well. Really, really excellent performer. Outstanding mixer. Um... I still don't remember what I used toasted marshmallow with. I almost thought it was happy birthday, but I don't think it was. I don't remember at this point, but this is an outstanding performer, as is this one. So my box is empty, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions on anything you've seen. Um, has anything you've seen in the video? Is it your favorite? Is it not so much your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on Scentsy whatsoever, holla at your girl. Thanks so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.